All right, welcome back to Nick's Picks. This is week three of the NFL. Um, last week I went ten and six, not very good. I was eight and one in the beginning of the the, the morning games, and then uh, I think I lost like well five in a row. I'm ten and six. I can do math. Um, it's called Nick's Picks, but now Hess or Fat Ninja, I don't know what he's calling himself this week, uh, is doing it with me, and he's gonna send in his picks every week. So I, so now it's a competition. Um, I went ten and six. Uh, Hess went nine and seven. So for the year, I'm twenty and eleven. He is seventeen and fourteen. And uh, let's get on with week three. So we start off with the Thursday game. Rams are going to San Francisco. Um, I've already mentioned I'm a huge Rams fan, so obviously I'm taking the Rams in their color rush jerseys. Um, probably one of the few people excited for this game, but I am. So there we go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Nick's picks week three. I'm Fat Ninja. And here are my picks for this week. All right, opening night, Thursday night football. Rams at Niners. There's going to be a stinker of a ball game. Uh, I really did want to go with the 49ers in this game. However, I'm going to take the Rams. All right, so now the Sunday's games. we got Baltimore going to Jacksonville. Um, I'm going to take the Ravens. Uh, they've looked pretty good this year. Uh, so far, 2-0. So. Next game, Ravens at Jaguars. Ravens' defense has impressed the shit out of me. Uh, Jacksonville looked good week one, but I think that might have played a part because Houston looks horrible. They barely beat the Bengals in a shit show of a Thursday night game last week. I'm sure you all watched it. Um, I'm going to take the Ravens over the Jaguars. Atlanta versus Detroit. And uh, Atlanta looks like they're the real deal. I mean, they went to Super Bowl last year, blew it. We all know the story. Um, I have no faith in Detroit, even though they're 2-0, and so I'm going to take Atlanta. And just see if Atlanta can keep going. Falcons at Lions. Um, Lions have looked good. Uh, they did play uh, the Cardinals, who I think are a below-average team, and the Giants, who I think are also a below-average team. I'm going to go ahead and take the Falcons on the road to beat the Lions. All right, next game is Cleveland versus Indianapolis. Uh, Cleveland's actually favored in this game. I know Hess will take the Colts because he's a homer. Um, so I'm going to go Cleveland. Browns at Colts. Colts. Giants versus Eagles. Now, I picked the Giants to win, to go to the Super Bowl and play the Patriots in my first week's picks. That's not going to happen. Um, but take the Eagles at home. I can't believe the Giants would go 0-3. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to happen. Take the Eagles. Giants at Eagles. Giants look horrendous. They can't move the ball. They can't do anything. I'm going to take the Eagles. Next game is Tampa Bay versus Minnesota. Um, I don't know yet if Bradford's going to play or Case Keenum. I'm going to take Tampa Bay, um, but I th I think I might take Tampa Bay anyways. I don't really trust Minnesota. I know everybody's big on them, but I don't, I'm not a big Minnesota fan. It's probably because of Bradford. Uh, Tampa Bay at Minnesota. I wanted to take Minnesota in this game, but I don't know if Bradford is playing, so I'm going to take the Bucks on the road. Pittsburgh. At Chicago playing the Bears, I'm going to take Pittsburgh. There's no way they should lose to the Bears. If they do, that's ridiculous. Pittsburgh at Chicago. Um, Chicago is Chicago. They look horrible. So I'm going to take the Steelers. I just had a brain fart. Holy cow. Miami versus the Jets. Uh, I'm not going to pick the Jets at all this year. And uh, the Dolphins should win that game. Uh, Miami at New York Jets. Uh, Jets. The Jets are the Jets. They're they're bad. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Next game is New Orleans at Carolina. I know New Orleans is 0-2. Uh, I'm going to pick them in an upset over Carolina this week. I just, I don't know. I got a feeling. Car Carolina has not impressed me. They scored nine points last week, I think. And that's just, I, I don't know. Just don't see it happening. I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to. Go with Drew Brees. Saints at Panthers. I'm going to take the Panthers. 
even though they did not look good last week against a uh, subpar Bills team. Uh, next game, Denver versus Buffalo. Denver looked awesome against the Cowboys, and I almost picked them, but I didn't. So I'm going to pick them against Buffalo, though, uh, without question. Denver at Buffalo. Buffalo is uh, seems to be struggling. Can't put up points. They don't have an offense. I'm going to take the Broncos. That defense looks legit. Next game, Houston versus New England. Um, you got to go with New England there. There's no way Houston can win. Uh, you say no way and then it happens, but no way. Uh, Houston at New England. I'm going to go with New England. Uh, I think Houston is bottom barrel. Bottom of the barrel when it comes to the NFL this year. Seattle at Tennessee. This was a tough game for me. I, I like Tennessee a lot. I don't trust Seattle. i saying I don't trust a lot, but I hate Seattle, and I never root for them. And then every time I pick against them, they win. But I'm going to take Tennessee. Uh, Seattle at Tennessee. I've picked against Tennessee the first two weeks, so I'm going to take them this week to beat the Seahawks. Uh, Cincinnati versus Green Bay. Green Bay did not look good on Sunday night. I'm going to take them over Cincinnati, but I'm not 100% on this game at all. I know Cincinnati's 0-2 and it's looked like crap, but eventually they got too many players. Eventually they got to do something right. Uh, Cincinnati at Green Bay. Cincinnati is probably one of the three worst teams in the NFL. I'll take the Packers. Kansas City versus the LA Chargers. Uh, I just got a feeling the Chargers will find a way to lose. So I'm going to take Kansas City in that game. Chiefs at the Chargers. Um... It's Heartbreak Hotel in Los Angeles with the Chargers. Uh, 25,000 people showed up to last Sunday's game. And then they lose. Basically, I'm pretty sure he missed a game-winning field goal as time expired. So I'll go with the Chiefs. And then we got Oakland versus Washington. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to take Oakland in this game. Washington barely beat the Rams. Um, the Rams could have pulled it out. I wasn't too impressed with Washington, to be honest. They ran the ball a little bit on the... Uh, on the Rams, but I, the, I just there's no receivers, and they've got I don't know I, I I don't like Washington at all. Oakland at Washington Raiders. I have no reason to pick against them. If you don't like Marshawn Lynch, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You should probably just go jump off a bridge. Just kidding. And then the Monday night game, we got Dallas visiting Arizona. Pretty sure Hass will take Arizona in this one. There's. I can't see Arizona beating Dallas. I can't see them stopping Elliott. Um, I think it's going to be a blowout, and I think Dallas will kill them. Uh, and then the Monday night game, I, it's the Cowboys and the Cardinals. I really don't want to pick the Cardinals, but I'm going to pick the Cardinals just because I think they have a shot. So good luck this week. Let's see your picks down below. Um, week three, Nick's picks, Fat Ninja out. So that concludes the picks for week three. Um, comment down below how stupid we are in our picks or uh, if you have any picks of your own. Uh, I do do the, a top five every week. So I think last week I had the Packers, Steelers, Raiders, Chiefs, and Falcons as my top five. Um, I guess only one team in my top five lost last week. Unfortunately, it was the number one team. So I've changed it up a little bit this week. I got, I'll do it in reverse order. So number five, I have the Broncos. And number four, the Raiders. Uh, come in number three, the Steelers. And then I moved Atlanta all the way to number two. I think they're the best team in the NFC. And then number one, I got Kansas City. I don't think this will be the case at the end of the year. But for right now, I don't know how you can pick someone else. I don't have the Patriots in the top five, which is kind of weird for me. I did predict them to win the Super Bowl. They'll probably be in the top five next week. But at this point... Just gonna go with the teams with a better record. So, alright, well, thanks for watching.